Hey everyone, so I'm back again to do one more video for you guys. Basically this video is how to basically use your uh, use your computer screen to record what you're doing so you can show like videos that you want to do. This is basically like a screen capture software for videos, for, for pictures, whatever you guys usually use it for. So first off, the first program that we're going to get, we're going to get two programs today. Uh, the first program that we're gonna download from online both of these programs are free just download it from just google it and you'll find it so the first program is Microsoft encoder uh, Microsoft encoder you're just gonna hit try now it's uh, it's basically free uh, with one exception you can't convert the, the, the format to upload to YouTube that's where this program comes in factory format factory and this basically gives you the ability to convert any stuff from this program right here. And this is the same program that I use always, and you can get it up to 720p. So, go to Google, download Microsoft Encoder. I mean, Google Microsoft Encoder. Download this link right here. I'll put all the links in the description below. And when you download it, run it, install it, do whatever you have to do, it's going to show up as an icon like this you click on it it opens up you find out all the information you basically a little mini tab comes up right here I'll show you how, how it looks it looks something like okay I can't show you it because it's running right now but oh show recording toolbar so it comes up something like this but with like a record button and all that bullshit um so uh, how do I do this okay anyway Okay, so back to what I was doing. You run that program, you capture whatever screen stuff you want. Then it's gonna, then it's gonna encode. I don't have, I don't, I can, I'm, I'm unable to run it and show you guys an example right now, because it's running in the background right, right here. Um, so basically, when you download this program right here and you run it on your computer, you're gonna basically get a format called X. You're gonna get a format called X E S C V or something like that, right? It's basically dot E some shit like that. Um, when you're done now, to convert that to like a AVI file or a MKV or a whatever file you want, you want to go to Google and type in Format Factory, and you're gonna download the one from CNET. I prefer. I always use CNET downloads because it's safer and it's more secure versus like these first two because one time I downloaded a program and my whole computer crashed. So click on factory, format factory. You're going to download it right here. See, secure download. And the format that's going to basically be given or spit out basically from the from the program is a XVXC or something like that or ESC I'll put the name on it and I'll put a tab above it because I can't remember right now and it's gonna when you done download it it's gonna look like something like this and then you're able to convert that file so whatever file it is you click okay let's say we're gonna convert to I don't know I usually use all my videos as AVI so we're gonna look for the file where you save the encoded video or the screen capture and then you're gonna click add file you're gonna see it usually appears in documents expressions oh what the hell come on All right there we go click all files down here to show it so it shows up right so I'm gonna click all files and code. Hopefully I should have one extra output somewhere here. If I I don't know if I have any today. Uh, uh, okay, so it's gonna be basically right here. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be in the screen capture output. You're gonna click on it. Make sure this is set to all file guys. All files, okay? And then you're going to click right here or whichever video you're using. This is the one that I'm doing right now for you guys. And because you see, look, 0, 0, 0, 0. 
and this one is basically 6 minutes and 56 seconds. Okay, so we're gonna click this one, open it up, and when it gets opened up, it's gonna add it to right here. Then you're gonna click, if you wanna append the name and set the quality and all that bullshit, you could do that. You could set the folder that you want it spit out to, and then you're gonna click OK. This is gonna take a while, depending on your processor, and it's gonna spit out uh, the video con that you converted and asked for. Okay, so let's do a recap right now. So, you're gonna Google Microsoft Encoder, download Encoder 4, not the newest one, click Try Now. It's not a trial version, it's on the whole, it's, you get to use for your entire pre PC, just with the exception that all files are gonna be spit out or basically given to you as a X, as a XSEC or something like that. And then you're gonna click, you're gonna start the program up, run your screen capture to whatever you want to download or whatever you want to videotape, then you're going to go to save the file on the black screen, then you're going to process the file, then you're going to download this in factory format, then you're going to save this file, open up the XCS file the same way how I showed you, to click by whichever one you want, so all, then add file, then you add the XCS, so the encoder file from uh, Microsoft Encoder, and you're set to go. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment uh, ask me in the comment section below and I'll be willing to help you guys and ask you guys. If there's any problem with this video, you guys, you guys just tell me I'll make over another video for you guys, okay? But uh, I can't run the 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 Microsoft and expression encoder screen capture. So the format that it's going to be spit out is in E E S C is the format. So there we go. Uh, good luck, you guys. Thanks and thumbs up, like the video, favorite it, share it if you like. Share it if you care. Uh, like it so that anyone else who comes and see the video, they will know, okay, this is a good video to watch. Thanks, guys, and good luck. Bye. Leave comments in the questions below. Blah, blah, blah.